Chapter 7 Donovan Dines Donovan pushed open the heavy glass doors to the Mellow View Apartments. He smiled at Mr. Bill Gutt, the security guard. He signed his name in the guest book. Donovan pushed the button and got onto the elevator. His grandma lived on the fourth floor. Donovan didn't like where grandma lived now. Everyone there seemed so gloomy. He wondered if all senior citizens' apartment buildings were like that. He missed the big house that Grandma used to live in with its front porch and large backyard. Grandma had decided that her old house was too large after Grandpa died. So she sold it and moved. Now Grandma lived in the senior citizen's building, just a few blocks from where Donovan lived. He could see her any time he wanted, and that was the best thing about her new apartment. Donovan knocked on the apartment door and waited. When his Grandma opened the door and saw him, she smiled. Donnie, what a pleasant surprise! Grandma said, opening the door wider, It's nice to see you. Come in. Donovan went inside and began to take off his coat. He looked around Grandma's apartment. His grandma was a collector, too. She collected anything given to her by her family and friends. Donovan thought this was a silly idea the first time she explained it to him, but then he decided that he liked the way Grandma's different collections blended together. Her apartment reminded him of a patchwork quilt, colorful, warm, and cozy. Old-fashioned dolls in lace-trimmed dresses were propped against an assortment of pretty teapots. Strange seashells of different shapes and sizes surrounded potted philodendron, ivy, and African violets in small clay pots. Tin cans with faded labels from long, long ago shared a shelf with tiny ceramic animals. Grandma also collected fancy old hats. She had a large felt hat with lots of peacock feathers. Another hat was box-shaped and covered with a veil. The veil was sprinkled with lots of glittery stars. In the bands of some of her hats, Grandma had stuck postcards friends had sent her from faraway places. One postcard invited her to sunny, funny Acapulco. Another postcard said that things were just dandy in Dixieland. Donovan's favorite place in Grandma's apartment was her picture wall. Here she displayed photographs of people she knew and she liked. Grandma said that if she had not seen a person for a long time, she would visit them on her wall. So whenever he, whenever she, um, he missed his grandpa, Donovan would go to the wall and visit him. Donnie, Grandma called from the kitchen. Would you like to have some lunch? Is it soup? Donovan loved Grandma's soup. Yes, it's your favorite, and I have plenty of crackers, Grandma answered. Did you call your dad and let him know that you got here safely? Grandma asked. Not yet. I'm getting ready to do it now. I'll tell Dad I'm staying for lunch, Donovan said. He wondered which of his favorite soups Grandma had fixed. He had so many.